It's December the 4th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org, and you can find my videos in Fukushima presentations throughout the entire internet. Today's show, we'll be talking about California and the radioactive fallout throughout California, and we'll be bringing in the documentation of that from major institutions and media throughout North America and the entire planet. And what we hope to show you today is that Fukushima really did happen, that there really was three melted reactors in Japan, and a fourth one that is the, the equivalent of melted reactor, of an active reactor melting down. And we will also help you work out that we need to find a way forward instead of ignoring what is happening at Fukushima. And as I get user to the software and to the equipment, uh, we'll be able to produce a really good uh, short documentations and documentaries. We are producing a documentary about Fukushima right now. Uh, we've done 260 days on the coastline of British Columbia, Canada. And we will go down that road with you sh uh, soon enough. Dana. And so that was supposed to stop automatically because I don't know what I'm doing. Of course, it does not. Morning, everybody. And it takes us a few minutes to warm up to the stream. It's always chaos. And it'll eventually make say, uh, sense for everybody. Dana Durnford, the nuclear proctologist.org. You can find it live streaming six days a week, hopefully, if not seven. And so, you know, I haven't had a day off in a couple of years, all things put together, of course. 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time, British Columbia time, Canada. And if you type in Dana Durnford to livestream.com, you'll see that little picture in front of me. And I hope that helps everybody be able to uh, figure out where these streams are, and it's taken a little while to get these up and running. There's nothing easy about it. Uh, I wake up every morning with a headache. <laughs> Let's put it that way, and I really do. And so that's okay. If that's what it takes to get uh, the documentation up and running again. So Fukushima, just a quick run for you. A 9.0 earthquake ran through the country at 9,000 miles per hour is felt in Florida. 30 minutes later, it shook the country for six minutes. Imagine shaking your child for six minutes. Imagine walking down the road and you can't walk anymore and the earth is shaking for six minutes and you have to sit down. Uh, stuff like that. Now imagine 50 minutes later, a tsunami uh, busts through your country. Now this is the nuclear power plant in Fukushima in particular. And so this lost all power, it, and it needs external power. So even if the tsunami didn't damage the reactors themselves, or the buildings, or the infrastructure, without the power, they will melt down. But unfortunately, it wasn't this simple. And my apologies. So the tsunami ran through. Uh, over the next uh, couple of days, reactors detonated. And these reactors, in particular that we talk about, are the Fukushima Daiichi uh, power plant reactors. And these all melted down. Now this is reactor one, that was 100% meltdown, melt through, and a melt out. That was 100% meltdown, melt through, and a melt out. This is reactor two, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. This is reactor three, it's 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. This is reactor four, it's 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. And reactor four, they claim it looked like that on the inside of this, and they claim the ceiling on the inside looks like that. Yet they tore all of that off. So the upper top of the building was all taken off, right? They put a cap over that eventually, but that's not a new pull. That's the official picture though. And that's not a new roof, but that's the official picture. And But that's what the building looks like. Okay, and so they all had meltdowns. These are what uh, hundreds of miles of the coastline looked like. It took a long time before anybody was able to move through that country. And these people will grow up. 
These people will grow up with uh, huge psychological issues if they're lucky to grow up. Uh, the whole country is collecting radioactivity throughout the country. The radiation is leaking directly into the Pacific Ocean, being washed into the ocean through snow, through rain. It's being dumped into the ocean. They're burning it in the incinerators. They're burning it in the incinerators. They're burning it throughout the entire country. They're digging it up and putting it in those bags. Um, those bags that I was showing you. Right? So they're putting it in those bags. They're burning it up. Or burning it in the incinerators and, and so that goes into the ocean and that goes throughout the country that goes back into the mountains gets washed back down through the communities that comes right across the Pacific Ocean the material that they're burning was the massive amount of uh, fallout that originally came out and continues to come out uh, so the ocean currents the ocean currents uh, traveling at 5 miles per hour will reach North America in 45 days. Uh, the rain will bring it before that. The jet streams will bring it before that. This model is based upon a couple of releases uh, from a single reactor. It doesn't include reactor 2's releases, reactor 3, and it doesn't include reactor 4. This model is based upon 6 years and 2 elements only. It doesn't include the other 2,000 elements. In order to find the 2,000 elements, you need 2,000 Geiger counters calibrated to 2,000 isotopes per se. And 2,000 people that are trained and know how to use that properly. Does that make any sense? So looking for just one radioactive uh, isotope, uh, like we see Woods Hole and UVic and a, a number of institutions that are, are funded by the nuclear industry themselves for their academic studies, so they're in deep, deep, deep billions of dollars in the pockets of the nuclear industry. So they say everything I just showed you is not real. Yeah? That's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's a bit of a deception, really, isn't it? Well, if you look at how a reactor works, and so the normal water level in these reactors are uh, 196 inches, 16 feet above the top of the reactor core, above the top of it. That's important. So the rule of thumb is it takes 200 gallons of water to raise or lower the levels inside the reactor pressure, pressure by one inch. Okay, but there's exceptions to that rule. Like that building there, like that building there, like this building here, like that building there. Yeah? Okay, let's keep going. And so, without cooling... Now, it didn't have cooling because the country looked like that, yeah? But without cooling, the boil-off would continue to drop the water level below the top of the nuclear fuel in the reactor core, even if the buildings weren't completely destroyed and the reactors weren't exposed and didn't detonate and didn't blow up and they weren't desperately using a fire hose to try to mitigate it. Okay. So, for the boil-off rate of 60 gallons a minute a week after shutdown, it takes around 200 seconds for the water level to drop an inch. So that's a long short of it. It's 200 seconds for the water levels inside the reactor pressures, pressure vessels to drop an inch. But the cooling of the reactors, they need a million gallons a minute. So to cool these reactors, you need to bring in about a million gallons per minute to each of these reactors. And of course, these reactors didn't have a million gallons a minute. And so <coughs> the boat you see there, we took that on an expedition. And <coughs> that expedition uh, lasted 260 days, five expeditions. One of them was five months long. And the, the arrows you see is the Canadian coastline. And so we crowdfunded this operation. We went looking at the tidal pools and areas that are known. And so normally um, Louise Narrell and the Queen Charlotte, Haida Gwaii Islands in British Columbia, Canada, would look like that in everywhere you went. Instead, they looked like this. They were completely naked. But that was symmetrical throughout the entire coastline. So that was symmetrically, um, categorically the same throughout the entire coastline. Right? So without cooling, the boil-offs would continue to drop the water levels below the top of the nuclear fuel. Okay. Now, they couldn't get cooling in there because it looks like that. 
Yeah, hi Mickey. And let me get rid of the bandwidth I got running over there. So hang on a second, folks. We'll come right back to this. We'll come right back to this in a second. We're over to the external laptop. Hi everybody, we're in the comment section. Let me get rid of the stream. Let me get rid of that stream, that Adobe rather, because that's chewing up bandwidth. And I see Mickey's having a hard time with the stream, and I might have something to do with it, that I'm chewing up the bandwidth and it could be stuttering on your end. How is the stream on everybody's end? Let's stop and say hi for a minute. David, you can't go putting those names on my site, okay? Don't be doing that. Okay, don't, don't be doing that. And anybody else. Let's make this clear. If you're doing that, you're trying to get me in trouble. If you're doing that, you're trying to get me arrested. And if you're doing that, you're going to get me arrested. So don't put that on my videos. Don't put that on my site. Don't put that anywhere on the internet associated with me. No, I'm not yelling at you. I'm telling you flat out that I will block you in a heartbeat. No matter how, how genuine you are to me or how kind you are or considerate to me. That if you're going to do stuff like that, I have no choice but to remove you. And the people that do that are highly suspect. And that should know better. And that, that is not right to do that to me when I'm live streaming, when I'm like this. <clears throat> Hi, Mickey, Amthurst, Adam, James. Like, I have to walk the walk all the time. I'm accountable for everything I say. And that's why I say we always got to change the law to deal with these people. But when that's chopped off and used out of context, that's how I get into trouble. And when you do that on my site or anybody else does that on my site, that's how I get into trouble. That's how I come I'm arrested. Because people take it out of context. Because they don't understand. And that, that is not acceptable to be doing. No matter who you are out there. So it looks good. Audio v videos top. Okay, let's keep going. Seems I got you here. Let's hit. Um, let's hit these couple of headlines I got here. I want to get through. Fukushima ticking nuclear time bomb. Over eight hundred tons of radioactive material pouring into the Pacific Ocean. The toxic substances: tritium, cesium, strontium. There's actually two thousand of them, and Hang on. So the Australia travelers, they talk about how the sailors from Japan to California, that the entire ocean was naked for 3,000 nautical miles, not even seeing no turtles, birds, dolphins, sharks. Does that sound familiar to what we done on the Fukushima expeditions for life for 260 days, 15,000 miles of the coastline in the last year? On to Alaska, where polar bears, seals, walruses, lost their fur and suffer from open sores on their skins. On to Southern California, where 45% of the sea lion pups have died, described by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration as an unusual mortality event. Back up to Canada, where the sockeye salmon faces record low numbers. West coast of Canada, where fish are dying. That was their hearing. That was fisheries and oceans. Right? All hundred of the samples were bleeding from the eyes to gills and the belly. Back across the ocean, high levels of cesium found between Hawaii and California. Today we're talking about California. And so this, we're going to move on in a second. On a test made on 15 to dead tunas, all 15 were found to be contaminated. So if you eat the atom, you get a cancer. The Vancouver Sun in British Columbia record, recorded the number of species testing positive for cesium. 100% of the monkfish. The carp, 100%, 100% of the seaweed. That's why Woods Hole didn't want it in their water samples. That's why you, Vic, don't want it in their water samples. 100% of the sharks, 94% of the cod, the anchovies, 93% of the tunas, the eels, 92% the of the sardines, 91% of the halibut, 73% of the mackerel. Fukushima, that was 2014. Fukushima continues to hemorrhage into that ocean. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have got out of that, that quick. Hang on. Okay, let's move ahead to... The last month's headline, mystery as dead rare sea animals wash up in the Gulf. Uh, 
California. Dozens of carcasses were found on the beach. Floating, floating. And government experts were baffled over the mass death of dolphins, sea lions, turtles, and long stretches of coastline clo closed off to the public. Why close it off to the public? Why would you close that off to the public? What is it they knew that they didn't tell you, but they closed it off to the public? 21 dolphins, 4 sea lions, 11 sea turtles de at one island. De decomposing remains were found on the beaches and floating. The private island dune stretches some 12 miles. It's rare to find so many at one time of so many different species. Uh, 13 ba baby gray whales. Now that was, um, I'm looking for the date on that. That was uh, last month. 13 baby gray whales, 55 dolphins found dead on the west coast. Rash of dead humpback whales in Oregon. Corpses of sea lions, birds, sea turtles decomposing. Fear of whales encountering radioactive hotspots. Volunteers trained about the dangers of radiation. 55 dead dolphins, 4 sea lions, 550 seabirds, 4 dead sea lions near another spot. 150 sea turtles, 14 dead gray whales, 13 babies, 16 dead sea turtles. Could be succumbing to hypothermia. These animals live in the ocean. Fukushima World Health Officials. Fukushima plant is dumping nuclear waste in the ocean on a daily basis. They're burning it in the dumpsters. It's washing out throughout the country with rain and snow. They're dumping it in the rivers and the estuaries at night time. There's no foreseeable end to it. And nobody has any good ideas how to stop it. Japan government worried about attempts to reduce the leakage out of the information, not the radioactivity. Fukushima nuclear waste being found off all U.S. states on West Coast. Detected near the shorelines November 2nd. Last month. Washington, California, Oregon, Alaska. Highest radiation just miles south of San Francisco. Researcher says massive decline of fish is thrown off the ecosystem along the California coast. What was the date on that? November the 4th. The day I got out of jail. These headlines are a couple of weeks before I went to jail. They arrested me. And then this is what I showed though. This is what I proved. This is what they made me take down off my site. But it's okay for all the other media to talk about it. Researchers say massive decline of fish is thrown off the ecosystem. They're gone virtually everywhere. The whale numbers are gone, drops significantly, the squid are disappearing, the herring, the anchovies. Like the die-offs that have been recorded, the die-offs that have been recorded, let me bring that up for you. Missing species, phytoplankton, krill, anchovies, sardines, squid, herring, salmon. This is just but a few of them that have disappeared out of the Canadian coastlines. They had sardines uh, a couple of months ago in one spot, and I think it was Monterey Bay or something. But the re it's missing from the rest of the ocean, the rest of the coastline. But we're going to explain that as we come up here. Let's run back and finish that off. Mystery disappearances, yeah? One of the worst seasons ever. Former Japan ambassador, this was a couple of days ago, or... Um, a couple of weeks ago, a nuclear, uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction could still be underway at Fukushima because they're finding certain isotopes. Now, we know they're all still in the chain reaction, but this is what they're alluding to. Unprecedented. Largest animal on Earth found dead on the West Coast. This was dependent upon krill. All these whales and seals and birds were dependent upon krill. And the phytoplankton, of course, is lower down the food chain, but that allows the krill to eat and live. And same thing with the sardines, the herring, the anchovies, and everything else. Unprecedented, the largest animal on the West Coast, sick and emaciated. Its blubber was four inches instead of a foot. And he said, I think we're going to see more of this. You better believe you're going to see more of this. But not for much longer because they're going to be gone. Food supply is being killed off. Most whales we see, we've been tracking for the past two years, not doing well. I think we're going to see more of that. Alarming over shocking crash of the salmon population in the Pacific Northwest where I'm too, which is what we predicted all this year would happen, which we, we, unfortunately, because of the 260 miles of the coastline that we covered. Right? The 260 miles of the coastline that we covered. 
That's not what we want. We want number one. Hang on. So the 260 miles that we covered in this boat, that coastline, all those arrows, it's just emblematic. We covered the entire coastline for 260 days, 15,000 miles. And instead of finding life, you have to excuse the way this is showing up. So obviously I smurfed that up. Let me see. Who knows what I got done there? But anyway, that's Louise Narrows. That's Louise Narrows. That's empty now. Look, it's empty. Instead of looking like that, the whole coastline, the entire coastline, is looking like that. And it ain't. This this means the four million other species. Those four million other species didn't recede the coastline. So it's all naked, and the four million other species. They didn't recede that coastline. This is unbelievable. It's unimaginable. This is the worst thing imaginable. That's why everything is dying. That's why we see those mass die-offs. Giant whales found out, piled up dead on the West Coast Beach. Me and Terry went up to spend eight days in that same spot this year. Camped on islands. And we took something like, I can't remember, 8,000 pictures. And all kinds of underwater footage. And most of that is up at the nuclearproctologist.org. Right, most of that you can go over to the nuclearproctologist.org and you will find the pictures of Bella Bella outside of Bella Bella from the summer. Uh, let's keep going because we got a, a stupid amount to get through. We don't know why. Alarming signs of oceanic distress on the west coast, record number of stranded seal pups November the 24th, a couple of weeks ago, nearly 2,000 percent of the normal level. Bags of skins and bones. We've never seen this. Many animals. You never see that many animals because the shores, the shoreline is naked. So there's even if they can't get the fish, they can't come on the shoreline and eat the nutrition that used to be there. The 600 algaes, the 78 species of sea anemones, the 76 species of starfish, the 70 species of sponges are not on those rocks. So they ingest rocks by reflex. The babies do. And they would suck the nutrition off the rocks. And then they would have enough nutrition in their body to excrete those rocks. But they're finding those bags of bones, carcasses we were just looking at, full of rocks. Because the rocks are, are empty. Right? The rock, these rocks are empty. This is what we showed symmetrically now throughout the entire coastline. And that Hell on Earth, 2006, Videl, talking about Chernobyl. And look at the third sentence. For the next 10 days, we spewed the equivalent 400 Hiroshima bombs worth of radioactivity across 150,000 square miles. That was Chernobyl. Right? So Chernobyl, in comparison, Chernobyl lasted 10 days. Fukushima never stopped. Chernobyl was one-third the size of any reactors in Japan. And Chernobyl... And Chernobyl... Sorry. And Chernobyl was a... Now, Chernobyl, 600 helicopter pilots died. I'm sorry, hang on. Chernobyl, 600 helicopters pilots dumped boric acid and lead on those buildings. And so, hang on a second. And so, that's probably why the chain reaction stopped after 10 days like that article's are alluding to, right? But it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. Do you get that? Do you know what 400 Hiroshima bombs is worth? Can you comprehend what 400 Hiroshima bombs every day, day in, day out, could possibly um, do, do you know what I mean? Sorry about that. So one third the size of any of the reactors Chernobyl over a million dead. Kofi Anna said in 2002 at the United Nations that 3 million children, 3 million, everything going boogie woogie there for you, sorry folks, that 3 million children suffer permanent disabilities because of Chernobyl. But Chernobyl, according to Videl, right? Or over here, according to Videl, only lasted 10 days, but 400 Hiroshima bombs. Okay, well, now we're finally getting somewhere, are we? Okay, so Hell on Earth 
we covered that whole coastline and, and it was all missing. And so there was nothing left there. And we'll get back on track here now and we'll go to the headlines coming up of Japan's melted reactors. But first we got to go and finish off those couple of headlines. So there's only uh, two more left. Alarming signs of oceanic distress on the west coast. And so the, the sea lions and the seals and everything, they would come ashore and eat the rocks and suck the nutrition off it, but there's nothing there. Unstoppable contamination. And this was um, December the 2nd, a couple of days ago. Unstoppable contamination of the Pacific Ocean is seriously menacing the U.S. West Coast. Fukushima now undeniably a global security issue and can't be brought under control by a single state. Wave of radiation will be 10 times more than the entire nuclear testing. But wait a second. What did Videl say, right? Hang on. What did Videl say in his article that when you, okay, and then we're going to jump over to the California headlines. And so Videl said hell on earth. He called it hell on earth because the third, third sentence down and for the next 10 days, spewed equivalent to 400 Hiroshima bombs. But he wrote that article in 2006. So how come he didn't say 800 Hiroshima bombs? He Because it didn't last 20 days. <laughs> right? It didn't last 20 days. So it was only equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. <laughs> All right, here we go. <coughs> So the reactor core coolings in Japan, if they don't cool, they're producing heat all the time. They're splitting atoms, and they're burning off that water 60 gallons per minute. And so on top of that, all those issues, right, the whole country, you couldn't get the infrastructure on. So every minute, it's dropping an inch. And there's 1,440 minutes in the day, you can do the math. So how long is it going to take it to get down 16 feet? And so when you look at what you see there, there's no way to get the power up and running at any of the nuclear power plants along that coastline. Or to spend common fuel pools at those power plants. Can you wrap your mind around it yet? Yeah? Does that make any sense to you yet? Okay, let me close all this over here. Because that helps get rid of the background noises. You don't got too much running in the background. <coughs> Hi, Lonnie, James, Mickey. We'll find out how tough people's skin are when they come to my site. <laughs> because I, I don't treat anybody with kids' gloves. We got an extinction event playing out. Right, that's a fact. So I'm not going to put on my kids' gloves for anybody. And that if I make it clear the things that you can't be doing, and you're doing them, and that's been going on, it's not this morning's show or nothing. It's just been going on. And it's been said before. We have an extinction event. And so the ninian and, 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 and the sniveling over attacking me and demonizing me and vilifying me, 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 without looking at the documentation that I supply, without taking that into consideration that that could be agitating me, but that... The police here in British Columbia, Canada, spent a year and a half stalking me, went through 500 hours of my footage, and could only find a couple of sentences. And that the provocateurs will show up in the comment section and everywhere else to provoke me and hope to get another sound bite to use to demonize me later on in the context. Yeah? Because that's how that game works. Uh, usually. It doesn't work in this case because I don't allow it to work. I don't give it permission to work. I don't um, cower because something was taken out of context. I don't facepalm myself saying, I, I shouldn't have said that, because I don't regret nothing I say. Because when it's in context and everybody, whoever watches a video of mine will know that about me, will understand that about me. Anybody that watches it out of context and comes and watches one of my whole videos and is honest will understand the context and will not care about what they said about me anymore. I can stand tall, so to speak. Okay, now let's talk about California. Comment section is going. Yeah, 
Yeah, hugs everybody. You got the comment section there. And I'm forced to deal with all of that and keep an eye on that in case somebody comes in and provokes people and then things get said and they come and arrest me for being honest, for being the real deal, for going out and doing the whole coastline. Uh, and so let's keep going. So, yeah, let's do hotline line number one. Maybe that'll get me back into gear. Nuclear expert, EPA claims that no harmful radiation could reach the U.S. is idiotic. Cesium-137 found in U.S. food supply at University of California, Berkeley. April 8th, not even a month later, they found it in the food supply and the organic milk that was in San Francisco Bay in particular. The Norwegian Institute for Research, Fukushima forecast. And so, Fukushima forecast, large radiation cloud near in California. Well, let's go have a look at that very quick here. Hopefully that works for everybody. And who knows with me anyway. So the nuclear fallout originally, the disposition, you can see it hit North America. Is that not North America? These are modelings. That model you're looking at, uh, I'm not sure if that's the actual Norwegian Institute for or not, but I probably got it here in one of these models. D these are all official models from different foreign countries. Well, some of them from our country. This model here is from our country, or, I'm sorry, this is, I can't remember anymore. So, mate, later, these are official models of the fallout coming across. They don't include all the reactors. They don't include the spent fuel pools. They don't include the meltdowns. These uh, modelings, this one is France's, IRS, or IRSN's model. And this is only based over a short release for a couple of days from a single reactor at Japan. Um, okay. Canada, done a modeling. Evidence of sharp features in the Fukushima plume over southwestern British Columbia. Health Canada. There's your evidence. What, what do you need? Right? What, what do you want? Do you want to land the coastline? There's the documentation. There's the modeling. Showing the plume, hitting the entire coastline. But Woods Hole in Uvic tells you it's not there. Are you going to sit there and take that? Because that's what you're doing right now. I didn't and they arrested me. This is the American model. That's the American model. Noah. But it's only based upon 131. But we know there's 10 times more 132 ionizing radiation to your eye glands 9 times more effectively. We know there's 30 times more 133 iodine with the same properties. And we know that in ratios, that's just 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life. That, that is made of ionized and radiated man made uh, isotopes, radionuclides. Call it what you like. They have a, extra electrons attached to them, they have a new atomic weight. Nothing else matters, see? Outside the fact that they describe them as iodines because they're uptake the same way iodine is uptake naturally into the body. Right? That's why a lot of these have the handles they have. It's because they mimic the natural nutrients that your body craves. And that's why they're so dangerous because your body is tricked and lulled into accepting them and uptaking them. But uh, let's keep going. And let's talk about these headlines. U.S. government, uh, U.S. government statement about safe radiation actually undermines the confidence. There is no such thing as safe radiation. So the stuff like a banana, when they tell you like it's like a banana, that's the biggest lie imaginable. That's a ball-faced lie. That's getting in your face and call you a moron. That's t treating you like an idiot. That's that's saying that you are the most incompetent person imaginable when you when the person who wrote that the the newspaper that. Pro put it out, the TV station that propagated it out without no counter-argument and allowed that to go out there without no challenge are criminals. These are criminals. These are the lowest of the lowest of the lowest forms of life we know. These are people who will stab you, will run you over and leave you dead on the side of the road if they think that they can get away with that. And it's not because they're embarrassed, it's because they don't want to pay the insurance hike. Their lawyer's not going to let anything happen to them, but they don't want to pay the more insurance. They'll leave your child dead on the side of the road with their bicycle. 
because they won't challenge these people. And that's why I can say that. If they're going to allow you to come out and tell you that there's nothing wrong, go ahead and eat them fish, eat the product that's contaminated, then that's a murder. That if I give you a pill and you eat it, and I say it's healthy, and everybody see me give it to you, then you drop dead, is that not murder? If it was poison. But I told you it was safe. So that's what they done to you. That's what they're doing to you. That's, that's the game they're pulling on you. That's the routine. So radioactive rain caused 130 schools, but California rain had 10 times more radioactivity than what Korea deemed impossible to have a school day. Possibly years before the crisis will end. Washington Air Monitoring showed sustained radiation spikes on March the 31st, then went out of service. Not only that, but they took down... They took down... <coughs> They took down, I'm sorry, they took down, or they had 150 monitors recently in the United States, and 99 of them broke. But nobody bothered to go and see if the warranty was still good. Nobody, the company didn't say, hey, we're, we'll get you the temporary ones while we replace that because we've never had 99 monitors. Did they break because of too much radiation? Because that can happen. And so why didn't the company come running and say, hey, you're going to wreck my business? Why are you saying shit like that for? Because they're in on a tilt. And so why didn't the government, who, the only reason those monitors exist is because we gave them permission. The only reason that they got that job is because we said, we want you there to, to, to look for this stuff. And so why didn't they just replace it? We gave them all the authority and the money that they wanted. But yet, they just said, okay, we're going to take down the rest of them. 99 is broke, we might as well stop the other... 51 monitors. Why would they Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just replace it? Because that's why they got a job in the first place. So now that the monitors are not there, should they all be fired? Should they all lose their pensions? Yes. Should they all be uh, put into a, a courtroom to find out what happens? Yes. Is that the moral and ethical thing to do? Yes. Is that what should, it will happen? No. Is that what could happen if we put our back to the wall? Yes. But not in my hopes and dreams of one. UN Committee Chairman studying Fukushima radiation, radiation impacts said we wouldn't expect to see health effects in children, workers, or anyone or not, anyone else. Over 1,000 nuclear workers, internal radiation, 10,000 counts a minute. They're dead. That's dead people walking. They'll pass that on to the children they have before they die. 1,600 workers thought to be exposed to high radiation. 5,000 workers suffered internal exposure. UN? No, no, we don't expect to see anything, particularly in children. How is that person not demented? How is that person not vile? How is that person any different from Woods Hole or Uvic? Huh? 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 Yeah? No, it's okay, Dana. Shut your mouth, Dana. 40% of the workers... Visitors showed internal exposure to radiation, but UN chairman says we wouldn't expect to see it. But then Woods Hole and Uvic uses the UN narrative instead of the narrative from that doctor or that doctor or this doctor or those doctors. I do, but they don't. And but I'm the bad guy because I do. Four and eleven radiation monitors were offline in California. March the twenty-six. EPA assured everything is okay. Much of the monitoring system is broken. But we paid you to fix it. We paid you to update it. We paid you to use the new equipment when it showed up. We paid you to protect our major interests. To protect our children. To protect our homes, our water, our land, our country. Strawberry mushrooms with cesium-137 found in Northern California. Five or six items in the food chain sampling tests have radioactive. That's from UVic or uh, University of California. But according to UVic and Woods Hole who had me arrested said that is not true. That I am a lawyer, that I am a manipulator, that I am a deceiver for fucking bringing that up. And that I have to liquidate assets and beg people to support me to defend myself for saying that. But hey, I'm a bad guy. Take that out of context. Don't forget to chop that little sentence out. And this one too. Dana was upset. You showed him at the television. Dana stood up. Dana scratched his head. I seen him. We can mix that in with something else. I seen him fart one time. I got that clip somewhere. We got him farting, scratching his head. He's probably evil. 
<laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Top radiation expert, Penny Beck Roll, Achilles Graham, and humans lead to irreversible lesions. Okay, everybody, like, Dylan can't see us. You don't know. It's not making any sense to me. It's okay, man. Sorry. Sorry. They don't work with you. Someday over the rainbow. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can get Dina to show up. Where you tell your big ear goofy thing, yo? Uh, uh, uh. Breaks, Dana, breaks. Okay, let's keep going. Senior scientists, 100 times more strontium than cesium in the ocean. Study 150,000 square kilometers Pacific. Winds from Fukushima will shift towards Tokyo. ABC Australia, their lawyers tell. ABC calls a radioactive plume over Europe, massive but harmless. Iodine 131, it was 10 times more 132. Ionized radiation to thyroid glands 9 times more effectively. 30 times more 133, but the reactors run on plutonium uranium. There's 2,000 other elements besides them. They showed up. You know the story. They all showed up, yeah? High potential for danger. Barrels of nuclear waste found by journalists. That was in um, English Channel. But that's not melted reactors. That, Right? But it's just, you know, it's really bad, but it's it's not melted reactors like we're talking about consuming rocks and ionizing, radiating. Every time there's an earthquake, everything falls in on those reactors. You got to keep going here. Um, so how long is a barrel going to last on the ocean floor? I've seen them decayed where there's only rings left. Many times. Horrible medical mystery. Alarm and rates of birth defect in Washington. Babies, there's like 10 in a million instead of 1 in a million. Or 1 in a billion, whatever it is. Uh, cesium in Seoul, South Korea, a thousand times normal background. <laughs> this, this is staggering numbers. Normal stuff can't hurt you. Normal stuff can't mutate a fruit fly. Normal stuff is imaginary. It, it is irrelevant. But, and so what they use is these big numbers for potassium, or big numbers for harmless, stupid, innocuous, everyday background radiation. And then they don't tell you what that is. And then they say, you got to multiply it by a thousand. June 30 meeting revealed depleted uranium storage facility burned after the quake. 1,800 pounds DEO. And so that's a number of nuclear bombs going off right there in the atomosity equivalent to radiation. Yeah. Chairman of the Oregon Republican Party suggests dropping nuclear waste from airplanes for its health benefit. He has no science to back that up. He has zero ground to talk about on that. But yet, this is how sold out they are to the industry that they would sell you out in a heartbeat, and they do all the time. I mean, but that is demented. His name is Art Robertson, and he wants to sprinkle radioactive waste from airplanes. That's called um, homeo, homesis. That's the homesis theory where little bits of radiation, and but everything on the planet has what they describe as radiation, but it's not. The stuff from Fukushima is radiation. The stuff the terrorists might get is radiation. The stuff we put on a nuclear radioactive site is radi what we call radiation. The stuff that is in our fruit flies or in bananas or potato chips or walking in sunshine is not a terrorist weapon. They don't have the extra electrons added onto those atoms. They don't have the isotopes injected into those atoms. Think about GMO where they put another cell in, right, from an octopus or whatever, or a spider or goat, but they maintain the same uh, structure. But that's what we're doing with atoms is we're putting an extra electron into the atom. And these electrons are very, very in. And that all the isotopes we talk about are coming from uranium. And that plutonium is just one of them. And iodine and cesium and strontium and americium, neptuniums. These are just one of them, uh, many of them, that comes from uranium, from the chain reaction. So a fuel rod, before you put it in the chain reaction, I can probably pick it up. When it goes into chain reaction, when I get, if I put that fuel rod in a theater, it'll kill everybody there in 20 minutes. First, all everybody in the front row in 20 minutes, or a minute. But I can kill everybody on the planet with that rod. 
But before I went through the chain reaction, I could take that rod and, and, and play football with it. I might get injured later on from doing that, but I could do that and get away with it and walk away from it. But if I was to take that rod or any part of that rod and put it in your drinking water supply and it was known, then I would be arrested. And then they would use that and vilify me till the end of time. They would write books and do documentaries on how evil I was. But yeah, we put it in bullets and we shoot it in other people's countries. Elevated radiation in Germany, Sweden. Remember Sweden just opened its fishery two years ago since Chernobyl. And they just said to hell with it because you can't change it. Might as well get what fish you can while you can. They'll all be gone soon enough. In Canada, we have no snow left in the mountains. The thousand years of ice pack, they figured it would take a thousand years to melt, is gone in, in just a couple of years from the tritium. There's a massive amount of tritium. Tritium is water, it is ionized and radiated. Iodine 131 detected in Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, other countries. Ten days after criticality talks, November 11th. It was still ongoing in November. Iodine was still showing up throughout the world in November, is what I'm showing you. California, we're right. California, Canada, we're right across from the, the jet streams come straight across. The ocean currents come straight across. Like I showed you in those charts earlier. Let's keep going. Poland and Denmark falls. At the height of Fukushima regions in California where the plume hit, had no monitors. Hi, Thomas. Take care, buddy. In chat room. EPA email shows. They deployed to the Radnet to the area. Only one left broke. Only one left broke as radioactivity began spiking. No clue about exposure. But you paid them to look for it. You paid them to have the equipment. You paid them to go grab the equipment. When you gave them the authority, you also gave them the authority when there was an accident to go spend millions of dollars to hire all kinds of people to get out on the coastline and find it. Not to send out Woods Hole. Not to send out Uvic and lie and manipulate and deceive and misrepresent and attack anybody out there that was exposing that. No. Inexplicable that the EPA shut down the Fukushima radiation. So the EPA should be prosecuted. The EPA needs to be prosecuted. The EPA has to be prosecuted to move forward. The EPA has to be routed out. The EPA has to be held accountable for everybody to be able to move forward. You have to discredit them to discredit what they've done. And they expose everybody who never called into question what they done. That's your job. Get out there and do it. It's not like I don't stop. EPA will no longer conduct radiation monitoring. Not because you never asked, but because they made up their own decision without, even though you want them to do that. You pay them to do that. You gave them a job to do that. You gave them the equipment and the authority and the monetary and everything else to go do it. Not to give up on it. Not to turn their back on it. Not to walk away from it. Just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? Radnick monitors were shipped out. Go prosecute them. Get in their face. Hold them accountable. There's your documentation. Look it up. You'll find it. Use it. Japan unveils plan to develop massive government backup city 300 miles west of Tokyo. Because the jet streams and the ocean currents and the winds are real. They're not just for terrorists. They get cranky sometimes. Hot spot at 1400 baseline radiation levels in San Francisco. Who knows what that one was. Obama picks up lead. Well, I mean, they've been dumping it off the coast too, right? But what we're talking about is Fukushima. Belarus has spurt. Radiation limits too high after Fukushima. Japan allows 20 times more cesium in drinking water than near Chernobyl. But Asby Brown from SafeCast and Tokyo said there was nothing in the drinking water. Even though we got headline after headline after headline originally showing it was in the drinking water. Now according to Asby Brown and SafeCast in Japan, there's nothing to worry about. Why ain't you prosecuting these people? Why ain't you holding them accountable? If you know these are in that country and you're able to do something, why ain't you doing something? Because they told you, Woods Hole told you not to worry about it. You, Vic, told you not to worry about it. Because that's the only two they're doing it to us. Japan government appears plan to flee Tokyo, ABC, Australia. Australia's ABC. Dana, you photoshopped it all, Dana. Unprecedented phenomenon from using salt water in Fukushima reactors forming uranium compounds like 
hydrogen peroxide sulfur buckyballs. So when you spray in the salt water on these reactors at these enormous temperatures, the, the sulfur creates a buckyball, a ball, that ingests a particle. Let's keep going. Canadian Medical Journal, experts calling for water evacuation. Officials have to evacuate 1,800 square kilometers using Chernobyl, but that was, uh, they weren't being honest about all the melted reactors. They weren't being sincere. Almost 8,000 square miles like a radiation control area. 30,000 30, Beckwells in 8,000 square miles. That's death sentences. But it takes 5, 10, 15, 20 years to show up, but there's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies that show up before the cancer. I need support. I need people to help me get this message out there. I need people to do the job themselves. I need people to... I don't know anymore. You know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm begging all the time. And because of what they've done to me, the way they smeared me and arrested me and demonized me and assaulted me, that's assault upon me. They accused me of death threats and, and being arrested for that when I was charged with criminal harassment of people who, who say everything I'm showing you is not true, who say everything I'm talking about is the lie who say the implications of everything I'm doing is just fear-mongering. But how do you talk about this without sounding salacious or without sounding alarmist? But why wouldn't you want to be alarmist? Why wouldn't you need to be that way in order to warn people? I can't apologize for the things I do. I'm not going to apologize for doing... 15,000 miles of this coastline in 260 days with the hounds at my side on the Pacific coastline, putting it all up at the nuclear proctologist, proctologist showing a, an extinction level event. I'm by myself. Help me is what I'm asking, what I'm begging, what I'm pleading. That's all I need is you to help me. And hold these people accountable. Contact the Globe and Mail and call them lawyers. Contact the Japanese Times and call them lawyers. Contact anybody who wrote those salacious headlines about me and take the documentation and show you they call them a lawyer. Hold them accountable. They're not going to listen to me because they already demonized me. They already vilified me. They already victimized me. And they'll continue to do it maybe till the end of time. Will that change what I'm doing? No. Will that stop me from doing what I'm doing? No. Will that slow me down from what I'm doing? Yes, but will that, that end me? My No, I'm back up 20 days later, even though they wrecked me. They utterly wrecked me. They've done that to me on purpose. I'm trying to raise money to get the talk show. This is 4,995 Canadian to ship it to Powell River, where I'm to. You can donate at the nuclearproctologist.org with credit cards, or... You can go to PayPal. You can go to PayPal and donate at PayPal. Type in my hot, my email, Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. And you can do, donate at PayPal. We got to raise that money. We got to raise money eventually for the other equipment too. But right now, what that is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow me to interview everybody and anybody. With Skype, it's going to allow me to interact that with the software I got. It's going to allow me to give you much better color of your stream, to correct the frames of your screen, correct your audio, even though it's a bad audio. It allows me to uh, a whole system in one. It's four thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. If you need information, you can send a, an email to me, Dana Durnford at Hotmail dot com, and I got to raise this money. We got to, this is separate from everything else we're doing. We got to get our hands on this thing. And because we need to bring in these conversations, we need to bring in these people. If there's breaking stories or people are putting out stories about it, we need to be able to bring them into these live streams and bring them in regardless for interviews and post that up at the internet. We need to be able to flush it out. Who are you going to trust to flush it out? Woods Hole? You, Vic? Huh? Or someone like me? I hope someone like me, someone that shows you everything, that doesn't hide away, that is completely open, that publishes all my material immediately as quick as I could up at the nuclearproctologist.org who've done 260 days 
on this entire coastline who have flushed out that documentation, who showed you that the species are gone symmetrically throughout the coastline. Hang on. You know, the maps of the coastline, and just a quick reminder for anybody that's driving the stream, all those arrows, that's the entire coastline of Canada. So we've done all of that. We've done everything. We, we, we did not, I mean, we went through hell for 260 days to go get that documentation. Anybody thinks living on a little 24-foot rubber dinky and taking on the North Pacific, the west coast of Canada, 15,000 miles of coastline, 260 days, documenting it in horror. I'm, no one will ever understand the horror of, of, of experience what I experienced. The, the absolute insanity of the entire coastline being stripped. And knowing that they're not going to tell you. Knowing that we got to finish it out to prove it. Because otherwise it'll get buried. And we do it, we get home, they arrest me. So I can't tell you. But I'm not to be stopped. I'm not to be ignored. I'm not going to be denied. And so I need to raise money to do this. And if you're already given and you can't give any more, share this information, share these videos. That's fine if you got no money. I get that. I'm just saying oh, I got no choice but to ask until I got it. That is how we've done everything else and that is how I'll get that done. There is no shortcuts here. And so that's the end of the stream coming up. Let's come over and say hi to everybody. And you got to understand that I'm going to do what I got to do to get this job done. I will sacrifice what I got to sacrifice to get the job done. And I'll be as strong-willed and determined to get the job done as I, as I was to do the 260 kilometers on that coastline. And that when the job is done, you know, when the world wakes up, I can give this up. When the world comes to its senses and has a real conversation, I can walk away, per se. But until that day, I will be riding their coattails the entire time without reservation and without remorse because I am doing a moral and ethical thing. And so are you. Hugs for everybody. Hi, Jan. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, I bet. No, it's okay, honey. And Amthurst, strain, strain. I uh, don't know. Lani, Kate is out there. Elaine is out there. Just cruising. Uh, let me see everybody that I'm not saying hi to. And that 45 people in the chat room. And I'm not going to get through it. Candace, everybody else. Uh, free Dana. Yeah, you can free me with dollars. I can get all the equipment. I can have a studio. We can have people out there on the ocean live streaming it from the ocean every day. If I had lots of money, I'd be hiring the marine biologists and getting them to break down all the pictures I got. And I have lawyers go out and sue all these people and take them out of the equation and discredit everything they've ever done. But I can't raise any money. <laughs> they demonized me in the media and destroyed me. But we have the documentation and that is enough. And we have each other to push back with and that is enough temporarily to keep this moving to keep the momentum going I scream you scream hi everybody take care folks Sylvia and everybody else that I didn't get to you know how can I right Mickey everybody else Joe thank you folks and so I changed the format today I changed the format today um, for the stream and then for the recording we're recording it as we're doing this also in a H264 uh, or something high, high quality and and so I'll be posting it at uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana hopefully in a, in a few minutes I'll start uploading it and that it should show up on my stream this time I think I figured out why it's not showing up on the stream I think hopefully I'm, I'm hoping I'm right and it's not them I hope it's me I hope it's not the people that had me arrested and censored me for the last year and a half with FBI and the RCMP here in Saanich, uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada used draconian laws for the last year and a half. They went through 500 hours of my videos to find a couple of sentences and then they couldn't find anything really good so the media came out and claimed I uttered death threats anyway. But they can't back it up in the court documents. We got that. 
And so it's all posturing. Oh, by the way, there's some mouthpiece over there at Eni News named Clam claiming that the charges against me have been dropped. That's not true, right? There's another way to try to defund me and try to take away from what happened. They're claiming that the charges were dropped. That's not true. I gotta be in jail. I'm gonna be in court on December the 16th again. And it's wearing me down traveling back and forth, three theories, and then get on the highway to get there. And I did not do nothing. They fabricated the charges in the media, and I'm charged with criminal harassment, not death threats. But yet that's what the media throughout Canada has done to me and the entire planet. Please support me at the nuclear proctologist. You can donate with credit cards or PayPal. Type in Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. Okay? And you'll find that Dana Durnford at hotmail.com just before I take off. Boo. Right? And you'll find that at the nuclear proctologist.org. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. We'll catch everybody uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Today's the fourth. Tomorrow's the fifth. So we'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care, folks. Hugs for everybody else.